Your patient has been ordered 200 milligrams of aminophylline. Aminophylline is available as 250 milligrams per 10 mils. What do you give your patient? Your patient has been ordered 200 milligrams of aminophylline. Aminophylline is available as 250 milligrams per 10 mils. How much aminophylline liquid do we give the patient? Well, firstly, we can estimate roughly how much to give the patient. So the patient needs 200 milligrams, and there's 250 milligrams in 10 mils of liquid. So roughly 8 or 9 mils of liquid should be enough. So now we'll do the calculation. We use the formula what you want over what you've got times what it's in. What you want is 200 milligrams over what you've got, which is 250 milligrams per 10 mils. So now if we do this calculation, we get an answer of 8 mils of liquid. So does that answer make sense? Yes, it ties in quite nicely with their estimate of 8 or 9 mils. So the correct answer is 8 mils of liquid. So it's quite useful to estimate first. Then do the calculation. And then check and see if your answer makes sense. Your patient has been ordered 200 milligrams of aminophylline. Aminophylline is available as 250 milligrams per 10 mils. How do we calculate how much to give the patient? We use the formula what you want over what you've got times what it's in. What you want is 200 milligrams divided by what you've got 250 milligrams times what it's in 10 mils to give you an answer of 8 mils of liquid.